Hi there. I wanted to show you what it's like to do one of these problems. Um, first look at the, the legend. The current elevation is dotted and the planned elevation is solid. It may not always be that way. So uh, I'm going to show you grid three. So what we need to do is write numbers in each corner that tell us what the current elevation is going to be. And current elevation is called existing ground. And the planned elevation is called finished ground. And so how that works is, so you have this intersection of the grid lines. So you wanna put the finished ground elevation on that corner. And, the, and this, remember, this is all for this point and the existing ground there. If the finished ground is larger, is taller, in other words, is a higher elevation than the existing ground, then you would need to fill. And so you'd put a number F and then a number, or the number and then F. If the existing ground is deeper than finished ground, in other words, you wanna lower the elevation, you're gonna to need to cut. All right, um, you also need to know what your swell factor is. And so um, for cuts, when you take it out of the ground, I want you to think that um, I will tell you whatever the swell is. And so for this demo, it's gonna swell 15%. And if there's a fill, then it is going to shrink, whoops, 12% when we compact it going from the truck to the ground and then compact it. It'll, it'll shrink a little bit less than it swells and that's, that's pretty typical. All right, so let's take a look at grid number three. So we're looking at this point right here. We need to know what is its current elevation. Remember, current elevation is the dotted. So we have to look, okay, this point is between this dotted line, 156, and this dotted line, which is 157. So we'll have to interpolate. And we will do a linear interpolation and we're just gonna ballpark it because we're gonna, we're gonna be rounding to the number of, of trucks anyway, so it doesn't really matter that, that much. So what you wanna do is you wanna sort of, in your mind, have an imaginary line that is between these that is perpendicular, okay? So not this line, not this line, we want a perpendicular line. Now I'm gonna draw it very lightly just so you can see what I'm talking about. So if this is 56, 156, and this dotted line is 157, what is that point? Well, we know halfway would be 156.5, so I'm gonna call it um, that the existing ground is 156.6. Well, what do we want it to be? Well, now we have to do the same thing only between the two solid lines. So if this is 157, this solid line is 158, then in the middle is 157.5. And in the middle of that is 157.25. So I'm gonna call that 157.2. So now we have to say, okay, finished ground is bigger than existing ground. So I'm gonna to need to fill from 156.6 to 157.2. So I'm gonna say, 157.2 minus 156.6. So I'm gonna to need to fill 0 0.6. And then I do the same thing for the other side. All right, so dotted to dotted. This is 156.5. I'm going to say that's 156.8. It is 
barely off of that 157, but it is. So that's 157 point, well, one. So what's the difference between them? 0 0.3 fill. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing here. So the dotted line is 157. This dotted line is 158. So that is 157.5. I'm gonna say that's 157.25. And I want it to be 158.25. So I'm gonna to need to fill one foot of earth or whatever material. Do the same thing here. Existing ground is 157.5. And proposed ground, you can see this is 159. Where's the next one? All the way down here, and it is also 159. So this whole area becomes the building pad, and it's 159. So my desired, my finished proposed ground is 159. And so that's a difference of 2.5 that I'm going to fill. These are all fill, and the problems that I'm going to give you are only either all four corners are fill or all four corners are cut. I'm not going to confuse the issue. Um, you'll get more of that in Survey 2. All right, and so then what I'm going to do is average these four numbers. You can see they're all different. Sometimes they're all the same, so we'll see. All right, so 1.6 plus 0.3 plus 1 plus 2.5 equals 4.4. I'm going to average them. So the average change is 1.1 feet. Now, I forgot to tell you that these are, uh, in this example, I'm going to say 30 foot grid and that each truck can hold 13 cubic yards. So you need that those two bits of information. So now we're going to take this and multiply it by what's the area of the grid. Well, 30 times 30 is 900 square feet times the 1.1 feet will give us cubic feet. So let's come on up here, times 900, 990. Now, we need to get it into cubic yards. You could multiply it by 1 over 27, or divide by 27. We take this divided by 27, and we get 36 and two-thirds. So um, if I ask you for cubic yards, it's always going to be rounded up to the next cubic yard. So 37, and I'm just going to put an up arrow to indicate that I've rounded it up. Notice I have not changed it in here, and I'm going to figure out my trucks based on the actual amount in case maybe instead of asking you for cubic yards, I ask you for trucks. So divided by 13 is 2.82. Well, we can't have 0.82 of a truck, so that's going to be three trucks. Again, I'm putting the arrow on this demo to show you that I have rounded it up. You would not try and insert an arrow in your answer um, on Blackboard. So. This is a typical problem that you're going to have uh, regarding these. There'll be a few variations of this, uh, maybe asking for different grids. And uh, if you have any questions, just give me a shout. Thanks.